You know, I never thought I'd be a pop socket kind of guy, but with the quarantine and us FaceTiming so much and us putting phones on literally anything to try to stand them up to be on camera, uh, I think it's gonna work out good. Let's get this thing installed. This is probably not recommended. Don't try this at home. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, you might have noticed that I didn't upload on Monday like I thought I would. I actually scrapped that video idea partway through filming it. I'm gonna retry it today, um, and see what I can come up with. Uh, but first I wanted to talk about going out today uh, to run a couple of errands. Um, it felt different. I'm not sure if it's the store's efforts to be really clean and sanitary, or if it's just the time in quarantine that this is kind of wearing in a little bit. Uh, but it's feeling a little bit more normal and I'm not sure that that's a good thing quite yet. I certainly don't want this to become the new normal, but if it's what has to happen for right now to keep people safe, then great. I just hope we don't get so comfortable with it that it becomes the way everything has to be forever because I would eventually like to buy groceries without a face mask. Uh, Target actually did a really cool thing. They put out this whiteboard uh, with what was in stock and out of stock on it. Check it out. So I came back to vlog this sign. This is pretty cool. I realized that they have disinfectant wipes, so I'm gonna go back in for that. That was really helpful. I actually uh, wound up walking back into the store because it was so well thought out. The giant line was very long. Uh, they were keeping people apart, sure, but there was no way to separate self-checkout from normal checkout, and it took way longer than it needed to, so hopefully they improve upon that next time I'm there. Overall, it was a successful trip. We got everything that we needed, and we're still trying to be very selective about when we leave the house, um, where we're going, and for how long. Uh, not only to be compliant with our local regulations, but also to be sure that we are uh, not exposing ourselves unnecessarily. So we'll keep that going. Uh, glad everything went okay today. Uh, we even got some toilet paper, so good outing. So in this time in isolation and quarantine, whatever you want to call it, I've thought a lot about uh, photo and video and uh, my skills, just kind of doing a self-assessment and uh, trying to figure out what I want to do with photo video on the other side of this whole thing. Uh, when the world normalizes a bit, I want to be able to take my skills and uh, make a business out of them. So that's something I'm working on as uh, we're in quarantine here. So like I said, I've been looking back on some of my past photos. I had Melissa go and select a few photos to uh, have me look through uh, because I thought it would be nice to have a third party opinion. I uh, found some gems, I found some embarrassing ones and thought I would review a couple here uh, on this video. Let's talk about them. First up and the most recent of these photos is this image of my daughter uh, taken for her eight month photos. Uh, we always try to do a blanket picture with the milestone blanket and also some close-ups uh, just to document what she looks like during each of the months that we're photographing. Now this wound up being one of my favorite ever images of her. I took this on the floor while she was crawling toward me and to get her attention I held a pink plastic donut around the lens uh, around my 50 millimeter and uh, she saw it and crawled toward it and that's what gives it the pink haze and that's why you're getting a smile on this one. This next photo is of my wife and daughter uh, from my daughter's first visit to the beach. Uh, this was taken in New Jersey in December, hence the uh, heavy clothing worn by both of them. Uh, I like that it's kind of uh, ironic and it kind of juxtaposes the winter and the beach. Uh, I went for kind of a processed film look on this one. I think it was a little too heavy handed, but I do still like the edit uh, even a couple months later. And I just really love the uh, expressions on their face and uh, how tack sharp the photo came out. This was with the same lens I'm using right now, the 16 to 35 uh, f4. So uh, one of my favorites for sure. So this photo was from a work trip with my video company that I was working with most recently. Uh, this is from back in the fall. Uh, things have changed since then. Check out this video for some more info on that. Uh, but this is a great snap. It was an iPhone. 
uh, back camera just right in the, the middle of the morning. It was just after sunrise I took this photo. Uh, the clouds are great, the trees look good, the Airbnb that we stayed in was just super photogenic, so I uh, wanted to take a quick shot here. My only critique is that I wish I had been able to correct the geometry a little bit because the lines are uh, very weird in this one, the, the windows and the peak of the roof just kind of poke out weird, but uh, I love the edit, it came out great, uh, this is one of my favorites for sure. So stepping back even further, this image was from a trip to Chicago uh, that my wife and I took. This was actually before uh, our daughter was even around yet. So uh, this is a great photo. It's one of my favorites. It's my website background. If you uh, go check out joecopenhaver.com. Uh, I just really like the colors and the space and the sense of uh, just the wide open water. Uh, this is Navy Pier uh, in Chicago, and I just decided as we were walking toward it uh, to see the sights that I would stop and snap a photo off a bridge, and uh, this is what came out of it. So now we've entered the Wayback Machine here, although it's not quite as far as we're going to go back. Uh, but this was an image from one of my wife and I's very first dates. Uh, we took a trip to Washington, D.C. Uh, just a couple months into dating and I actually brought my camera along and snapped a really great photo of her uh, from back then. This was before the 6D Mark II. I had the 60D. Uh, that's what was used to take this photo. Uh, it's one of my favorites of her. I haven't actually seen it in a long time, but uh, like I said, I had her pick a few photos out for me to critique and look back on and this is one of them. So a uh, good example of a portrait. I do wish it was a little bit sharper around her eyes. Um, but it's a great expression, some great lighting, and uh, one of my favorites. All right, going even further back, uh, here's an image from a trip to New York uh, for a conference that I took. Uh, this was back in 2011, um, and I really like this snap even now. Uh, it, there's zero editing done to this, essentially. This was right out of camera and back when I only shot JPEG, so uh, won't really have much of a chance to edit it at this point, but uh, I do really like the photo. Uh, I think the composition's good. I think the uh, lighting is nice. Uh, I think the exposure is pretty spot on. The only thing I would say is I wish it was a little straighter, but overall, good capture. All right, now we've gotten way far back here. This was when I got my very first uh, 50 millimeter lens uh, 10 years ago, actually. Uh, so this is back in 2010 uh, on an older Nikon camera. Uh, but I really like this one even now. Uh, the composition's really good. I like the depth of field. Uh, the lines are really good. There's a leading line with the swing seats. This one's actually pretty solid. Good job, Kid Joe. All right, here's a bonus one. This one's terrible. I cannot believe this is still on a hard drive. This is me thinking it would be really cool to stick some colored pencils in seltzer water. I thought I was so artsy. The focus isn't quite right. The colors are terrible. Man, this is just bad. Let's let's get rid of this one. Oh. All right, something a little bit different for the vlog today. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.